Hey everyone, it's Christy and today it's Friday. It is very dreary and rainy here today. It's warm, but it's rainy and I was hoping it would be pretty today. We're going to get out in town and I'm going to go pay some bills and run some errands and uh, before Bible study tonight. Tonight is Friday, like I said, and, and we have Bible study tonight, but I thought I would hop on real quick and show an outfit of the day. This looks a little uh, risque, don't it? But I have a new cami underneath. I love this little sweater. It's from um, Forever 21, but I'll show it to you better in a minute. It is a real pretty uh, nude, kind of nude peachy color, and I'm real, I've worn it before, and I really love it. But anyway, I thought I would do some standout products that I've enjoyed the past month or even less, products that I'm using every day and that I look forward to using every day. And I've got several over here, and like I said, it's just... a. It's just a small amount of the products that I enjoy. I enjoy all my stuff uh, immensely. I enjoy all my jewelry and my clothes and my makeup and all my new stuff. But these are just some products that I find myself grabbing for or that I find myself enjoying just a little bit more than something else. So we'll get started with that because I got a few things over here. The first thing I wanted to start with is my St. Ives Even and Bright. Uh, pink lemon and mandarin orange scrub polishes away little imperfections for bright radiant skin and I bought this and I showed you in that haul when I had all those other scrubs and masks well I handed the uh, blemish control mask and scrubs down to Brooklyn and then I had handed the one that I bought like this to Hope and uh, because I don't know I'm, I'm funny that way I'll buy things and I'll use it a time or two and then I'll hand it on down that's just something I've always did well I handed my scrub like this to Hope well uh, a few days after that I noticed her skin started looking clear too and she said mom I asked her what she'd been using and she said my skin has been doing so much better since you uh, since I started using that scrub you uh, sent me and I'm like well how do you use it because I just used it sometimes in the morning or in the shower as a scrub and she said, Mom, I've been using it to take off my makeup and everything. She said, it's the best I've used. So, of course, me being me, had to go out and repurchase it. And I've used it every since for the last week. And my skin is so smooth. And you can't even hardly feel any texture to it at all. And it does remove. Hey, Hope called me and it cut my camera off. That's the only thing about recording with a cell phone. That happens quite often. But getting back to this scrub. Uh, she told me she just started using it as a regular face wash and it got her makeup and stuff off really good and her face started looking amazing. So, of course, I had to go out and buy it and I've used it for the past week and I love it. It takes my makeup off fantastic. It makes my skin feel smooth. It tightens my pores and uh, it is gritty and it is, it's a creamier scrub but it is it does have some grit to it so if you don't like a gritty face wash uh, or scrub you wouldn't like this but i love it and it's one of my standout products for the for the past uh, i know i've used it for a week i had used it a couple times before i gave it to hope and enjoyed it but i just handed it off to her and uh, so i had to go buy it again and i'm loving it okay these two products go together my plus white gel and my uh, Pulsar toothbrush. I have used these twice a day ever since I've bought them and I enjoy them. I did not realize how much I missed a, a vibrating toothbrush or a pulsating toothbrush because I, there for weeks or even months I went to a manual toothbrush because, you know, the dentist says there's no not a whole lot of difference in toothbrushes, but I just feel like this one just makes my, it just rejuvenates and uh, vigorates or whatever you want to call my mouth and my gums and it feels like it gets the blood pumping and it feels like my gums are healthier. So I do enjoy using this and I will brush my teeth with my Arm & Hammer extreme whitening toothpaste and then i'll follow up with the plus white gel and it keeps my teeth really white so i really love these products and will continue to repurchase repurchase these they are these are standout products for me okay the next one probably doesn't come as any surprise i've worn it every day pretty much since i've done the unboxing is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in soft ivory i think it's a great match for me it's a very good full coverage uh, foundation it is a kind of a thin consistency and it has the little spatula which i like it kind of um keeps the mess down some and I love this foundation. And Hope went and bought her some like it, only in a different shade. And she loves it too. I will continue to buy this foundation. It, it, it has taken the number one spot for my favorite foundation. Wet and Wild Photo Focus. Love it. Okay. And also to go with that is the Dream Lumi Touch that Deirdre sent me in, I'm not, I think it's just ivory. And I've almost, look at this. I have went through this really quick. 
obsessed with this and will repurchase it. I used to use this, and then I went to the Age Rewind, and the Age Rewind is good, but there's just something about this Dream Loomy Touch. It is a very good product, and I love it, and I will continue to buy it. I'm trying to rush through a little bit because me and Hope, I've got to go get Hope, and she's got to pay some bills and stuff, too, and it's afternoon. I'm sorry, burping. So sorry. Uh, my stomach's empty, too, and I think when I haven't, I haven't eaten anything, it makes it worse, but I'm going to, uh, we'll probably go out to Giovanni's and grab some lunch today. Nothing new and exciting. You pretty much, if you follow me, you pretty much know what I'm going to say before I say it. But, okay, the next product, and I, I touched on this yesterday, is the Maybelline Master Contour Palette that Deidre sent me. I love this. I absolutely love everything about this pop product. I will uh, contour, blush, and highlight, and I love it. And I'll show you what I use it with. Um, I love this brush. This is another standout product. It's just a little e.l.f. Um, blush brush. I think it was $3. The one that's a little wonky. See it? See the bristles? I will use this brush for all three of those. I'll just wipe it off on a paper towel and go with it. But I love these two products together. And I like this. I bought the Contour, uh, Elf Contour Brush. And I will use it from time to time. But I would rather contour with this. I don't know why. I just like this. Enjoy this better. But I love these products together. They are standout products for me. Okay. And so happy to have my Jordana Best Slash Extreme Mascara ba back. I had used this for years and quit and went to something else. I don't know, probably because it was cheaper. And where I do wear false lashes every day, I don't really obsess over my mascara. But this mascara is wonderful. And I've heard other women on YouTube uh, uh, really rave about this mascara. It's just a basic mascara wand. Very black. I love everything about it, and it really coats my lashes good before I put my falsies on. But we'll continue to buy this. I think another reason that I quit buying this is because I had to drive about 45 minutes to find it because we do they don't carry Jordana anywhere close in our town. So I did have to go to a the closest Walgreens, which is about 45 minutes away. And I think that's one reason I quit buying it. But I will just keep buying it and buy backups, you know, whenever I'm there. I'll just buy two or three and stash them. Love that. Okay, uh, my Pro Liner, another uh, product from Deidre, my Wet n Wild Felt Tip Pro Liner. I have used it every day since I've had it, except for maybe if I do a real, when I wore those real uh, dramatic double up lashes, some days I skipped the liner because they had a thick band on them and they look like liner anyway. But I love this, um, I love this. The little bottom's a little bit loose and it comes out sometimes. But I love this, it's just like a little felt tip marker. And it goes on so uh, pigmented and so smooth, and I will continue to buy it. I love it. Okay, now this is my lip combo. That's what I have on today. It's the one that I'm getting the most compliments on. And when I do look back and watch my videos or I look at a picture where I'm wearing this lip combo, it is one of my favorites too. And it is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bear to Comment. And there's been there have been a few women that has has went out and uh, bought this gel liner because they seen it on me in my video, and I love that I can inspire or uh, uh, encourage someone to try a new product if they like the way it looks on me, and that makes me feel good. It just kind of boosts your confidence, and I wear it with the um, Liquid Cat Suit Mega Last Wet Wet and Wild uh, and the Nudist Peach. I don't know why I keep calling it Peach Nudist. I've caught myself saying that two or three times, but I love this uh, liquid lipstick. It's very beautiful, and that's what I have on today, and it is one of my very favorites right now. This one along with the uh, Give Me Mocha. I love it, too. Okay, uh, I have been... Now, I enjoyed my um, Morphe palettes, but I tell you what I've been enjoying so much lately is... And I don't have it on today. I have uh, the... Um, brown palette on today, but I'm loving the uh, LA Colors Black Lace, the gray, and the last few videos when you see me with a gray smoky eye, this is what I'm wearing. I am always drawn to a matte eyeshadow, especially if I'm uh, having uh, some issues with my eyelids or if they look crepey or puffy, I'll always go with a matte shadow. And this is my standout product for this past week. And I've had this before, and this is a repurchase. The LA Colors, and I've told you, are fantastic for the price. Uh, in Air, Dollar uh, General, and um, what other store carries these? Dollar General 
and Family Dollar. And they both uh, run for $1.50. You cannot beat that for an eyeshadow palette. They are a little chalky and powdery, and they do kick up some dust, but they're worth it. I love it. Okay, and this will come as no surprise. My silver bar earrings. I wore these so much this past month, and I love them. And today, I have on my little gold earring, the little bars that came from my little earring sets that come from Factory Connection, that came from Factory Connection that I showed you yesterday. But I love bar earrings. I love hoops. And I love bar earrings. And I'm not a real big fan of big dangly. I used to love big dangly chunky stone, like colored stones or bright earrings. But I'm not so much into that anymore. I like more of the edgy, classy, just some CZs or some hoops. Or I like the bars. I like the earrings that I wore yesterday that came down into a point, like a triangle. And uh, But I've enjoyed my bar earrings so much. These came from Pennies. They are the Decree brand. Okay, and I did not show you this when I bought it, but it is the Mantha Lip Balm Stick uh, Co. Bigelow, and you can buy these from Bath & Body Works, and I've had this for the past week. I had this once before, and I remember loving it then. Someone had gave it to me as a gift, and I used it up. And they are a little pricier than, like, I usually use just Chapstick or Carmex or something like that. And these, I think, run around 7 or $8, so they are a little pricey. But I did indulge in it the last time. I don't know if it was the last time. This past week when I went to the mall, I did go to Into Bath and Body Works, and I just bit the bullet, went ahead and bought it because I remember liking it so well, and I don't regret it. It's a very nice, minty, thick lip balm, and I wear it during the night when I go to bed. After I do my skincare, I will finish up and this will be the final touch and I will always coat my lips with something. And this is a very good uh, lip product. And like I said, it's Mentha Lip Balm Stick, 100% uh, let me see, natural. 100% natural mint, so it does have like a little tingly. I'm not a big fan of scented mint products. But where I'm just going to bed and going on to sleep, it doesn't bother me. But now I do not like a minty lip gloss or lip product during the day because I can smell it and taste it. And I'm not a fan of mint. But this, it doesn't bother me. And it's the Co. Bigelow. And I love this. If you, they have different uh, varieties and a different different ones in that brand. So tr I would recommend you to try it. You'd like it. If you like lip balms. Okay. Last but definitely not least is my Peter Thomas Roth. You've heard me talk about it several times. My 3% Retinoid Plus high potency, high potency Retinoid Serum Pro Strength. It's got the little dropper. You just push that in and it clicks and it'll give you just the right amount in your dropper. And I just put, it's like water. Very thin. I love a thin consistency of anything. And I just put that in my palm and rub it, rub it together and rub it over my skin. And what have I used this about a month now? It's $82 a bottle. It is a little bit spendy, but I think it's worth it. And I am going to repurchase my retin, Retin-A. And actually, I have called the uh, uh, dermatologist, my dermatologist's office uh, twice now, and they're out of it. So I have to wait. They have it specially mixed up at a pharmacy, and then they bring it over to the office, and then their patients can buy it over the counter. And it's $65, and it is a creamy consistency where this is a serum and I think what I'm going to do is interchange and uh, interact with those two products I think when I do get my retin-a back instead of using it every day so it doesn't irritate my skin as bad because it'll swell my eyelids up and everything I get really I get really bad looking they say when you get on retin-a you'll go through an ugly stage well my ugly stage just stays forever <laughs> but I do think retin-a does help your skin in the long run but I think when I get my retin-a that I'll alternate with this and with the retin-a and just switch off with it and see how that works. But those are some of my standout products. Like I said, I have so many products that I enjoy. And I will show you some more of those later. But the past uh, few weeks, these are the products that I have been um, reaching for. But I'm going to get up real quick and show you an outfit of the day. I just have a, a slick ponytail. My hair is extra fuzzy this time after I washed it. I don't know if it's the weather or what. But I can't really get it sleek slick like I want it. I've just got a side, pon a side part ponytail going on. I have a, a brown and black smoky eye going on today. My regular false lashes that I had to go back to. My Salon Perfect lashes. Uh, the palette that I just showed you from Deidre. My foundation, my Dream Lumi. The peach, uh, the nudist peach uh, lipstick and the uh, Bear to Comment liner. And I I'll get up and show you my outfit real quick.
This is a sweater that I've had for a while. I bought it at the beginning of fall uh, from Forever 21. I forget how much it was. It was probably around $22, something like that. It's a real pretty peachy nude color. I've got a nude cami underneath. I love the neckline of this. Of course, I would not wear it without something underneath, but I love the look of it. I love anything that comes around like a choker style around my neck. I have a few sweaters that are made like that, and I put them on today with a pair of new... Uh, I've had them for a while, but I just took the tags off of them. I got these in New York City. When I uh, showed you my black skinny jeans before that have the, zip, the silver zippers, I bought these the same day that I bought those in New York City. I love a black... A uh, skinny leg pair of jeans. That's probably my favorite look. And uh, these just have some zippers right here. I don't know how well you can tell. It's a very overcast day today and I don't have very good lighting. And if I turn my overhead lighting on, it sends a, a very yellowish looking glare and I don't like that. But I'll get up kind of close and let you see. It's just a zipper on both sides and it's got some pockets and they're straight legged or straight leg and they're a size small. Uh, $27.90. I think for the price, because I have worn my Forever 21 jeans so much, I think for the price, Forever 21 really does carry good, uh, they carry good products, but I, I love their jeans. But I stuck them on, I stuck my boots on, my Decree boots that I got at uh, the bag sale. Uh, when was it? Wednesday. I put those on today, so I'll show you that. I got my jeans tucked in them. They pull my stool out. They're just real cute little western style um, ankle booties. They're kind of black. Uh, they're kind of shiny. They're black, but they're, kind of, they're not patent leather, but they're shiny. They got like a little shine to them, and I like that about them. And I'll try to turn around and show you the back. My jeans have pockets in them. And then they've got some pockets right here, and they got some like uh, moto style print kind of on the knees. I don't know how well you can tell, but I love these jeans, and um uh, Really hadn't thought about wearing them because I was wearing my other black ones so much and I enjoy wearing those too, but I really like these. I think these are a little bit higher waisted than the other black ones. And, um, oh, I forgot to show you. These are another standout uh, product. Uh, one of my favorites is my big bumblebee. I call them my bumblebee sunglasses, but I have wore these glasses ever since I gave those uh, purple lens ones to Hope. And, and stuck these on. I've worn them every day since, and I love them. And like I told you before, I, these are a repurchase. I had these before, and we broke them, and I bought them again. And I will I will buy a backup of these glasses. I love them. And they do carry them in the tortoise uh, shell, I think, and the brown. And I think I'm going to buy those also when I go back to the mall. But those are my glasses. And I don't have any rings or uh, bracelets or watches or anything on. Uh, I know you probably think it's funny that I don't wear a wedding set every day. But I've had good wedding sets in the past, but the one I wear now is just costume jewelry. It's not even, it's real silver and CZs. But uh, when me and my husband got married, I think I may have told you this before, we just, we didn't have very much at the time. He had just started his first job and I was 16 and he had just turned 21. I told you before he turned 20, but he was 21. And uh, so we went and bought little gold bands for $50 a piece and we wore those for a while. But I have got a funny story to tell you about my wedding band. I'm not going to go into it today, but I will tell you about it. I don't have it anymore. And I was a very spoiled, uh, six, bratty 16-year-old girl when I got married. And I done a crazy thing. But I'll tell you about that later. So stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, I just wear mostly costume jewelry. I have had real jewelry in the past. And I have had real wedding sets. Nothing extravagant. But the one I wear now is the big chunky one. And usually if I don't wear any rings, I won't even stick it on. But I just don't know what it is. I, I think it's where I hold and uh, uh, carry my boys and play with them so much that sometimes I just feel like jewelry just gets in the way. And I don't like, and I have scratched them before with my rings and stuff. And that's the reason I took off my false nails. But I, and that's another thing. I've got my nails painted nude. This is just a called Sandstorm. Uh, Insta dry Sally, Sally Hansen, and they've been nude the last few days. But uh, I think when I'm with my boys, I think the less jewelry, I hardly ever wear any uh, necklaces and stuff because it gets caught on their little clothes, and it's just sometimes it's just uncomfortable. So I just try to be practical mostly. But uh, and I'm still packing my. Um, I love this bag, my altered state bag. I love it, and 
I'll probably pack this probably all through the weekend. I may change out next week. But, yeah, that's my look today. And that's a few of my standout products. Uh, tonight is Friday night. We will be going to Bible study. But right now, me and Hope's got to run some errands, pay some bills, go to Walmart, uh, go to the grocery store, all that fun stuff. Uh, both of our husbands get paid on Friday. So today was payday. So we're going to get out and spend their money. They work and we spend it. That's how it is. But I want to thank you guys for all the positive comments on my weight loss uh, video and for just supporting me and sticking with me. You guys have a great Friday, and I'll probably talk to you about something tomorrow. Tomorrow, Well, tomorrow's Saturday, and I have to go to that memorial service and sing. But I have to be there at 1, so I'll have to leave here around 12. But I may hop on real quick and just show you what I'm wearing and maybe um, talk to you about something then. So you guys have a great weekend. I love you. God bless you. Be careful, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.